the biblical teachings that I've come to understand have painted a portrait of God that just captures my heart. And that's why I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. So why are you an Adventist? Because I believe in the whole Bible and only the Bible. I'm an Adventist because it's something that makes sense um, and it's simple. It's not complicated. You read your Bible and you'll come to the same conclusions that, um, that Adventists do. I want to say John 14, 15, if you love me, keep yeah. my commandments. Yeah, that's a great I'm an Adventist one. because I haven't found anything better and more clear and that answers the questions of life more clear than Adventism. Um, that's not that we're better than anyone else, but the understanding of God's word of life, uh, origin of even eternity and hell, the understanding of God and where I'm going afterwards, uh, from the Adventist standpoint, it makes things a lot clearer and it continually draws me closer to a loving relationship with God that I want to share with others. The mustard seed has been planted in my spirit and I am all about morals and values and ethics and most certainly about children, food, nutrition, groceries, <laughs> and books and education and I believe that the church can teach the things that our children and our future generation needs to know. When I joined this movement, I was taught to um, study things for myself. Not to believe what is told, but to double check everything. Why am I an Adventist? Life is hard, there's so many challenges. With kids, it teaches me I need to sacrifice. So, why are you a Seventh-day Adventist? That's really hard to sum up in one thing. <laughs> I'm a Seventh-day Adventist because I believe in the health message that needs to reach the world. I believe in keeping the Sabbath day holy and I know that God planted it in my heart that this is the right place for me to be where I'm going to do his footwork. So this year I I plan on uh, giving you some additional reasons on why I also am an Adventist. In Mark chapter... Chapter 2, uh, Jesus says, Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Son of Man is also Lord of the Sabbath. So Jesus tells us he's Lord of the Sabbath. You know, we see in... in uh, Isaiah chapter 56, God promises to the Gentiles if they will keep his Sabbath, then uh, he will hear their prayers. Uh, so we know it's just not just a Jewish thing. I know I've talked about that in previous videos, so I don't want to uh, stay stick with that. But uh, Deuteronomy chapter 5, also Exodus chapter 20, uh, there are the Ten Commandments. The fourth commandment is the only commandment that says remember. It says remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh, so for me, when I th see 1 John chapter 2, verse 6, where it says, He who says he abides in him also ought to walk just as Jesus walked, or as he walked. Uh, that is to say that we ought to behave in his image, to, to follow after his pattern. And God's pattern is a day of worshiping God on the Sabbath. It's like, that, that's, you know, if our, we knew our dad was going to be home on, on Saturday, um, we'd, we would sure 
be home on Saturday to hang out with him, you know, particularly his wife, right? So, uh, it's not about the law. It's, it's about the character of God, ultimately. And that's by keeping in the spirit of it, which is because God is love, right? And Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Uh, and beyond that, even in Matthew, uh, Matthew chapter 7, I think. Chapter 5, um, verse 17, he says, Do not think that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For assuredly, I say to you, till heaven or earth pass away, not one jaw or one tittle will by no means pass away from the law till all is fulfilled. God answers prayers. He's answered my prayers so many times. He's our great provider, and I love him, and I want to do it his way. That's why I'm an Adventist. Contact with Adventism was, oh, I don't remember exactly when, but for a vacation Bible school, and I was very much drawn to the message that God's Spirit lives, it, like our body prepares, is the temple for the Holy Spirit, that uh, healthy eating is a vital part, that the next generation is so well cared for, and um, yeah, we found that all through the years. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, what's your name? My name is Antje, and we are also involved with the music here quite a bit. Oh, okay. And, yeah. and where, what denomination do you belong to? Well, we are officially now Mennonites. I was born Lutheran, okay. um, so we just follow Christ. Yeah. 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 And we see God's micromanaging in people's lives and our lives. And yeah. yeah. And of course, this is always a wonderful opportunity to meet other people who Isn't it? also believe so. Yeah. that it's Christ. And I believe that God's church is spread out through all of the churches, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. until the time comes when it's time to sort. And then yeah. everything will become more clear because the Holy Spirit will be poured out to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I used to think it was... Um, it was... I, I couldn't just say, oh, in Christ alone, or Christ is the only answer, the way, the truth, the life. But I come from Europe, and to see with... Islam having such an influence now on Europe that Christ is indeed the only way to mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Christ's character is very different from Muhammad's yes. and I think we as Christians need to be be more educated that way and, and to be ready to get an answer to people. You're right.